Hello, everyone. This is Selena Belial, the founder of CE Institute, and I'm one of the myofascial CE instructors here. We usually conduct paid CE certificate training, but today I'm just doing a quick video to show you alphabet stroking, which was born out of the myofascial technique, J-stroking. In myofascial techniques, we found that there have been some limitations as to what's being taught. Specifically, a lot of of the myofascial techniques might be for larger, more broad areas of the body. And like J-stroking, we now have this alphabet stroking technique that can treat a small area. Let's say you have a burn victim and somebody has adhesions and myofascial restrictions after their burn, a, a, a third degree burn or something like this. Let's say you have somebody who's been in a motorcycle accident, has road rash. Again, they might just have spot areas, especially I'm going to show you somebody who has road rash primarily around their ilium and their greater trochanter on their hip where I'm going to practice alphabet um, stroking and show that for you. If you're going to practice myofascial re release techniques, we highly recommend that you do a class in myofascial release, okay? That's because many massage therapists do practice myofascial release, but it's nothing like massage. Okay, you often practice myofascial release techniques dry without lotion. And we're trying to manipulate soft tissue in different directions to thin fascial trendles, tendrils, excuse me, to thin, thin the fascial planes and to increase range of motion, release adhesions or restrictions. And there are very specific techniques that you would do uh, in myofascial release, which is mostly avascular tissue. Muscle, when you're massaging, that's very vascular. It's that a rich blood supply, and that's one of your goals in massage is to increase circulation. Well, in fascia, there's an extremely different tissue composition and makeup. It's extremely avascular, not a great amount of blood supply to fascia. So the techniques that you're going to use to affect fascia will be quite different. Let me show you what alphabet stroking looks like. Here is a road rash client right here. And I'm gonna retract the tissue with my left hand and you can see I'm drawing the alphabet with my right pointer finger. Here's the letter C, the letter D, the letter E, the letter F. And as you can see, I don't need to move about the body to be able to apply the alphabet in one area. And a matter of fact, it's recommended to stay in one area because the alphabet itself moves in all different directions. So I started up near the road rash primarily around his ilium. Now this road rash was more near his greater trochanter. And I'm still just doing the letters here to stretch the fascia in many different directions. If you're in a small treatment room, like I've been, in, <laughs> I, I created this about 25 years ago, been practicing massage for 30 years. And many times I'm in a small room where mobility around the client to get different directions might be limited. So if you're in a small treatment room, let's say you're sick of standing, you've been standing all day, lunging all day, you can do this from seated position. Alphabet stroking is a wonderful technique that you can do in a very specific area for myofascial release. So keep in mind, alphabet stroking is not for broader areas of the body. There are different myofascial techniques that you can use for broad areas in the body. You would never do an alphabet stroke, let's say over the back. <laughs> it wouldn't be effective if you're trying to do the whole back with a letter A, there are different techniques for that. Now I've done a lot of in-person training back in the 90s with myofascial experts such as John Barnes and um, who else? Uh, Robert King, who's no longer with us. He's past president of the AMTA nationally, George Casulius and so forth. And one of the most popular staple strokes of 
myofascial release is J stroking. And if you don't know how to do J stroking, if you trained in myofascial release and they didn't give you this basic staple stroke, come see us. We'll show you how J stroking is practiced with three fingers. In myofascial alphabet stroking, we're just going to use one finger. And I usually use my hand to retract the tissue. Sometimes I'll take the tissue and I'll put like my pointer and thumb together and I'll just try and stretch the skin with these two fingers by, and we're always doing it dry. We're never, well, most myofascial techniques are not gonna be with lotion, but we wanna retract the tissue and that's when we're gonna do our alphabet on the actual skin that will penetrate to the deeper fascia and superficial fascia. Now, if you feel that it's too strenuous for your hands to be doing the alphabet stroking and your fingers hurt at the end of the day, um, we want to correct that. You can take your fingers and what I like to do is I'll take my pointer and I'll brace it with my middle finger and now I can practice my alphabet stroking with greater strength and with the same precision of working with your pointer finger alone, okay? Uh, I'm a World Arm Wrestling Champion, for folks, for those who don't know me, so my hands are pretty strong, but even I, towards the end of the day, am bracing my finger so that it's a little bit easier for me. So we hope that helps with your alphabet stroking and myofascial release techniques. Um, if you want more myofascial training, we do have it here at the school. We teach live in-person classes, and we also teach pre-recorded and webinar live training as well. We hope you enjoyed. Until we see you in another class, be safe.